What's up guys? So we're going to go over to my unit at home and we're just going to test this Y-Jack amp probe out with the Y-Jack view app. We'll do this real quick. And this we'll is the amp clamp. Obviously this is the piece that is going to connect up with your tablet or your phone, like your mobile device. Now you can see I've got it on, it's flashing here. Now this uses a BLE, which stands for blue tooth low energy. So the reason why this has the wire here is because you can clamp this inside of a system and then run the wire out and there's a magnet on the back of that and you can put it to the side of the unit. That gives you better communication rather than trying to get through that machine or that unit. So let's go and hook this up to a system and just check this out real Here quick. Here we are in the available devices in the Y-Jack View app. So when the heading there is blue, it's paired up. When it's red, it's not. So it's telling us we got the Y-Jack amp, okay? So it's reading zero amps, obviously, because there's nothing connected yet, but we are going to connect it. All right, right just now. to show you guys here, the amp probe is around the compressor wire there, and then the wire leads to the communicating device, which has got the magnet on it right here. Now, if you had a panel that had a hole in it and you wanted to cover it back up because it was raining or something, and you want to get the electrical wet, this cord would come in handy because you can actually get that communication device away from the probe itself. So let's go to the app and see what we're reading here. So we're all connected up to the Y-Jack app and we can see that the probe is at the top, the probe number, and we can see the name of it, the Y-Jack amp, and we're drawing 6.8 amps currently right now. So let's hit that menu tab and see how deep we can go with this. And we're gonna hit that electrical tab right there. We're gonna head in and we're going to pick the probe right here. Then we're gonna hit save. So we're away from the unit right now, uh, sitting in the shade. So there's other stuff we can see here in rush current, power consumption, energy efficiency. We're not gonna get into that right now. But what we can see is our amp draw current right now. We can see our min, we can see our max. If we wanna change that to a line graph, that's pretty easy to do. We just tap on a couple of things here and then we hit save. And then it brings us over to a line graph that moves in real time. So we can do some data logging as well. Hit the three dots up here and then we're gonna go into create data log. Okay, and we're gonna go do an electrical one right here. We're gonna turn that on and then we're gonna hit save. And then once your, your timing starts by hitting the red button right there, we're gonna to start to count and that's gonna record and log your amp draw according to time. So let's say you had an issue with a machine that was acting up through the day or through a certain period of time when there was something going on in the building and the load was changing or something like that and you're having some issues like maybe an overload tripping on a compressor, uh, maybe it was blowing fuses. You could use this to data log your amp draw to see where it's peaking, right? And you could add some other probes to this like temperature, pressure and all that, but we're just concentrating on the amp probe right now. So once you're done, we can hit there and then we can go save log. All right, and then we can save it to where we want to save it to. So we can save it to files, we can copy it, right? And then we'll go in and we'll look at what these actual reports look like from this data log. So I went back and did some data logging for about five minutes or so. Then I sent the email to myself. It's a CSV file that I sent to myself. So we're going to open it up and we can see there that there's time stamped, right? We can see the current as I scroll across here, the current, and then we can see the current minimum, we can see the current maximum, and we can also see the inrush and the inrush seconds since inrush. So pretty cool. There's other stuff here that we didn't actually capture on this, but this was just an example of how you can use this to data log right now. See the timestamp there. We're going to scroll down and we can see how the amp draw changes over time as it's being captured. So guess what? If you're having issues with the machine, you can capture all this data and use it to your advantage, guys. Happy HVACing.